LeVar Burton hosts Jeopardy tonight for the first time. For the That's first time. Cool. Is he like the favorite to become the, the the actual permanent host? Is that what's going on here? Yeah, I, I mean. So. Or is I'm, am I just on black Twitter and black Instagram <laughs> a lot? Is there like a bracket or something? Or, or is oh, they should have did it like tournament style and saw who people voted and shit. The, or the Ken Jennings go and stuff. Who they have on there? I think they had Ken Jennings. Ken Jennings. I think Aaron Rodgers did one. I don't know if that Aaron he's Rogers really in the running to be the host. But I don't I, think he is. I know he hosts. Yeah, as long as Seacrest don't end up with it, right? Like another yeah. hosting job. Like oh yeah. no, I don't think Ryan Seacrest <laughs> Jeopardy. I feel like it's off brand for yeah. Seacrest. Because we would also we would know and we would feel like damn Seacrest really is just getting the answers along <laughs> with us. <laughs> Versus like Alex Trebek, you were like yo, he's smart enough, or he's been here long enough that he knows all these answers. Ryan Seacrest shit, you'd be like, oh, he must have read that right now, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. they have a bunch of different people. They have had Robin Roberts. They've had Aaron and They've had so many different people. It's, I guess, going all the way until August 13th before they make a decision. Wow. Also, but, he's not actually the favorite. We just are rooting. Yeah, like Dr. God. Oz has done it. Dr. Oz. Yeah. I would, that would ruin the integrity Anderson of Cooper. Jeopardy. I could see Anderson oh, Cooper, yeah, I'd buy yeah, it, yeah. but I'd be kind of sad to lose him as a reporter to become mm-hmm. a game show host. You know? Oh, it's the either or thing? Feels like it yeah, should I feel like be. It, it probably would Feels be. Like you if I was Anderson Cooper, host. I would be like, why would I want to change my job to do that? Like, That's what I'm saying. Doesn't he get like 10, 15 mil a year from like uh, CNN or whatever it is? What do you think that the, the replacement host from Jeopardy is getting? I don't know, but you think it's that Jeff- kind of bread? I bet it's real They're money. getting a real check. For I sure. bet it's but real money. You're going to be... That Anderson Cooper money? Like, I don't know. That's a lot. If you mm-hmm. Anderson Cooper and you go over, you can yeah, yeah, your own yeah, money. Yeah, you can be yeah, like, true, yo. True. Doesn't like, Judge Judy make like $90 million a year? Yeah. It's like something insane. Okay. Okay. I just what? did a random Google to see how much What's Alex going Trebek on, made. And it said that. None of your fucking business. Yeah, it literally does not. Oh, no. It says $12 million a year. Okay. $12 million a year. Okay. So, yeah. I feel like it's probably higher than $12 million a year. He's doing it for years. How are you going? Yeah, maybe. It, maybe it this is, I don't know how reliable this source is. But Who is still, the source? Like, you, Distracted 12 by is the source. <laughs> $12 million a year for 30 years? Do the math on that. Yeah. Nah, he was doing well. Made it real well. Especially, you know, your job is locked. Like, you, you, you're not getting replaced till you pass. Like, you, you're chilling. That is a good ass job. It's though. his show. For <laughs> yeah, sure. it really it is. is. You think Wheel of Fortune's gonna go out with Pat Sajak? Nah, no. we gonna keep the wheel going. Yeah, they gonna keep the wheel moving. It, is Vanna White <laughs> still doing that? Vanna yes, White still is. still turning the letters. She is. I think I think if Vanna White goes, no, I think I think they'll keep it going. I, after all these years, yeah. through all these movements that we had, do we, have we not fallen for Vanna White to do more than just turn the letters? <laughs> <laughs> Are we still in the space where we like, look at Vanna let's, wall, let's, walking down that aisle and turning them letters? Let's see how much she's getting paid now. She probably sure. getting paid more than Pastor AJ for sure. <laughs> Their team, you know? She was on video games and everything, some of them without him. Exactly. <laughs> the one that we play <laughs> downstairs uh, quite often. Pat that, Sajak went on that shit. There's no Pat Sajak. It's I knew just Vanna, Vanna White's deal. name. I didn't. I w- if you'd asked me what the host of Wheel of Fortune's Ooh. name is, I wouldn't have been able to answer. I know the name Pat Sajak, but I wouldn't have put it together. That's fair. I feel like Vanna White's more iconic. She yeah. is more yeah. iconic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Pat Sajak just like hung in there. He did. He did he's a good not, job. I'm not good mad for at him. Pat yeah. Sajak. Mm-hmm. I'm sure no, he's man. fine. Is yeah. he from Chicago? I think he might be. See. I could see that. Why can't you see that? What the I don't know. Just that? like like the classic <laughs> Chicago. I like it was a diss. I didn't, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. <laughs> Uh, I I looked up like the the top TV shows of this year though, and I think we have a real disconnect He's from of, like what America oh, is watching. Geez. Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting fact. Yeah. I'd be knowing random people from Chicago. You just be like, he from Chicago? Because we only got a couple people. The, no, we got a whole bunch of people. The like most popular television shows on television are like CSI. They're like Chicago Fire and Chicago PD. Okay. All, all the procedurals are like all the top shows on television and i just didn't know that at all it was big bang theory i think big Bang that ended right so yeah. now it's young sheldon the spinoff is like the that's the show yeah, that's the number that's the one show, show mm-hmm. on all television yeah. young sheldon yeah that's what's up it's like we forget that like there's like, a whole nother world there's a I whole don't. nother realm of people <laughs> yeah you don't, don't because because <laughs> in all of the worlds i feel that way it's not just in old television whoever's watching young sheldon but it's, it's also in, in, in terms of like, I'll go on Instagram and there'll be a TikToker with 30 million fucking followers. Where I'm like, I don't know yeah, who yeah, this yeah, person yeah. is mm. at all. How they sneak 30 million people past me 
over to this side of this fucking yeah. wall where they're all yeah. following this individual and There's I so missed it. Yeah. And I didn't know this person existed. Come on. You're saying they're just like, oh, like people on CSI are just like old people influencers. Yeah, that's what they yeah. Are. like we don't yeah. know who they are, but the <laughs> every old folks home like, in America, <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> yeah, that's that the most famous order. guy. <laughs> that in Law and Order, Ice T is just who was that was just asking me like Ice T turned into I think a lot of Ice T turned into a real actor, huh? I was like, I guess <laughs> that's what you want to call it. <laughs> I was yeah. like, yeah, he's killing it. He's on Law and Order, like those are such actor fuck. shows though. Those are like the shows that like actors audition to show they can act like everyone's first so you said ice he got he got like that everyone every good actor is just trying to get a scene with ice i mean i haven't seen any recent episodes but like you know ice t in new jack city i mean he was doing his thing yeah that was that was cool that was different that was like literally what's the joke ice t went from fuck the police to becoming (laughs) full full time (laughs) i mean but yeah you do anything for 35 years you gotta become somewhat good at it not Definitely. Or, or you got to know some tricks. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, some tricks. Some, one or the other. Do you think there's anybody that's out here doing something for 35 years and they just like consistently bad at it? I, I shot something I at a, so. a place that was also like famous for making cue cards. Like they used to be the cue card place. They like they hung them around like like that was their claim to fame. And they were like, you wouldn't you wouldn't believe like Al Pacino uses cue cards like Keanu Reeves uses cue. They, they were using like super famous, reputable actors that like you couldn't picture, like staring off screen and reading the words from a cue card. You're like, oh, that you don't expect like Al Pacino to be doing that, but they were like, no, that definitely happens to I some of your that. favorite I actors. But how you know it's like credible? Like I, that sounds like a business because <laughs> that that's nobody gonna fact check film. <laughs> it's like if you came in my store and I just had a whole bunch of fake pictures. Al Pacino being like, thank y'all at the cue card factory for always <laughs> supporting me over the years. I'd be like, nigga, that sound real. I don't fucking know. I wouldn't investigate. <laughs> it also wasn't even like that. It was just like, yep, Al Pacino read that cue card. It wasn't even oh, like, okay. there, was, there was less proof than that. <laughs> so does, so did everybody that passed by. Like, <laughs> Like, Al Pacino probably read the fucking Sunset Boulevard sign too at some point. You know, like, what's the difference? Al Pacino read that. <laughs> that's that's just hilarious that that was the statement. Yeah, and Chris bought it too. Chris, said, give me two cue cards. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, coming back here more often. Um, My bumper to Al. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, welcome to Wine and Weed, guys. Yeah. We're back for another week. Uh, I'm Chris Reinecker, a.k.a. The Connoisseur, a.k.a. Speed Bump, a.k.a. The Goop in Your Gap, a.k.a. Saxophone Jones, a.k.a. <laughs> uh, toothless and Ruthless. That's my new one because of the teeth last year, okay. last week, because I have less teeth. Oh, I said toothless, toothless, but then I didn't like calling myself toothless. So you're not toothless. added in and ruthless. Yeah, but that kind of doesn't. But that really. describes like the lady you were just telling me about <laughs> that snuck into the dentist office. Yeah, she was <laughs> she ruthless and made some toothless. And made yeah. yeah. everybody <laughs> toothless. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and and with me as always, I am uh, that dude. I am Sterling Stilo Brim, aka S to the B to your best debris, aka is that third leg. Now it's just me, aka concerned father, aka. Black Mama, aka RP Black Mamba, aka Steezen to aka Stalin to aka your stylist stylist, aka um I don't fucking know what is it again? Uncle Baby, Elroy? No, what is it? Husband oh. potential baby daddy tendencies? <laughs> That's the one. Yeah, and then last but not least, your boy Uncle Elroy and with us as always. Hey guys, Quartz back, aka the voice, Quartz aka <laughs> off camera court, aka no face, no case, yeah. aka the queen behind the scenes, aka invisible court, and finally, Dang. aka wow. courtside court. Damn, you just racked up those AKA. you got crazy <laughs> AKAs now, fam. I don't know. Thank you. Thanks, guys. And with us today, we have a very special guest, uh, uh, um, an award winning uh, uh, athlete, skateboarder. Uh, Olympian, a uh, gold medalist, my man, my man, my man, Mr. Paul Rodriguez. What up? P-Rod, what's good, baby? What's you got some good? AKAs? How you guys doing? This is your man, Paul Rodriguez, a.k.a. P-Rod, a.k.a. P-Dizzle, a.k.a. <laughs> 
Ah, <laughs> we got it. We got it. Like, I saw like I'm, I feel a little <laughs> jealous. It felt good. Though. That was good. Jealous. That was a lot of energy, <laughs> yes. though. You I was know try, what I mean? I was trying to like think of some as each you went. I was like, come up with something, dude. It's <laughs> like AKA can't think of shit. It yeah, was like being yeah. in school when you saw about the you were yeah. about to read. You the were like, oh, anxiety, shit. like oh god, oh god. You're like reading the <laughs> pop paragraph before you. <laughs> I get it out. I get it out. <laughs> but Paul, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank yeah, you, yeah. my pleasure. Um, thanks for having me. Yeah, we uh, we like to it's you know we we like to smoke weed. We like to drink alcohol. We also Respect. like to talk about the world. You know, okay. yes. a lot of shows uh, kind of work like an interview or like getting your story. And we kind of come from the place of like, here's what's going on this week, and what do you think about that? Okay. And yeah. I feel like it's a great week to have you on as skateboarding just came out into the Olympics. Yeah. You're what you've won what five X Games? Yeah. Uh, gold. Four, four X four. Games games gold. Yeah. Amazing. Uh so we'll have plenty of stuff to talk to you about. And we'll talk to you about stuff like a woman breaking into a dentist's office and taking teeth out. Interesting. Yeah, it happens. Um, <laughs> I have some theories about these. <laughs> uh we got lots on okay. this show, so we're excited to talk to this week we're drinking some whispering angel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and we, we are, are smoking. smoking. We have an actual sponsored episode today. Hey. We are smoking some Balance Los Angeles. We're about to smoke this, uh, what's this, Powie? This Powie. If you smell this, Chris, it should smell good as well. I, I literally smelled smell? it when you opened it from oh, across you? the yeah, room. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you did too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it, smell, it looks really good too. Look at that. It's purple. It's orange. It's sparkly. I feel like you're doing like a... QVC for weed. Right now. <laughs> I look should. at that. It's look at purple that. as orange. It's so <laughs> premium. Call it right now. <laughs> Balance Los Angeles. You can follow them at Balance Los Angeles or check them out at balanceLosAngeles.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some local marijuana. We expect me smoking more of this, though. This smells really good, so can't wait to see how it hits us and how goofy it makes us. I'm looking forward to this. Thank you, Balanced. Yeah, thanks, Balanced. Last night, you all know that there was the women's skateboarding finals, and three the top three winners are all under the age of 16. So yes. they combine their ages 42. <laughs> oh, <laughs> There's man. two from Japan. One is 13. The other one is 16. And a second one from Brazil that's also 13. And these young girls are out here killing it at the olympics mm -hmm. at 13 or 16 i were y'all doing that at 13 or 16 what the fuck do you mean will we be here talking to your ass <laughs> if we were you here talking to none of y'all about the hall might have been doing this at 13 were you doing this you might have been for sure not at the olympics but i was skating what we called them the castle contest it was yeah. california amateur skate league so i was winning my little, little plastic trophy that you get like same for little league you know and got a discount at my local skate shop wait this is the oh, skateboarding's yeah. first year this is the first time Wait, skateboarding has been in the Olympics. First year why ever. Not first time me ever. Crazy. Wait, I didn't realize it was skateboarding ever. the first, first year. Ever. So that's why, obviously, my you know explore page on my friends been going crazy. Mm -hmm. I, I thought it was just because we knew hella people Thank who you, were going sir. to the Olympics. And I was like, that's fucking dope. Yeah. Yeah, all the yeah, homies yeah. went to the Olympics, and <laughs> this person knows this person. Atlas is going out there for this thing, and mm -hmm. oh, they got uh, uh, Jaggers over here, and Nice yeah. over here. I'm like, oh, that's fucking dope. But yeah. in my head, I did not realize it was the first fucking year. First ever. Congratulations, <laughs> all you motherfuckers. This is, <laughs> this is huge. This is crazy. This is a story. For it to be 13 to 16, though, that is. Yeah. How do you feel, though, if you trained your whole life and you're like, yeah. I'm 26 years old or 28 years old, whatever it is. And you're like, I'm about to beat these motherfuckers. And then some 13 year old out of nowhere <laughs> just comes in who's a phenom. Do you feel like defeated or do you feel like, I guess this is just meant to be? They changed the rule right when a 13 year old got here. How, well, I, I, I think in this case, like in skateboarding, everyone's familiar with who's in the contest. So it's not like they came out of nowhere. Um, the favorite was between I, I would say the favorites were between Leticia, who's an established skater, mm -hmm. and um Raisa, who's the girl who got second. So mm. um I don't know if you guys remember that, but about four or five years ago a, a video went viral, a little girl wearing a fairy suit. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's her. That's yeah. her guy. Okay. Oh. The little girl wow. heel put the stairs, she was wearing wow. the, her little like a uh, little blue Daddy. fairy suit and uh she ended up being the girl who went to the Olympics and yeah. got silver medal. So That's I don't know. Crazy. It's, you know, the young kids though, I think like, like, like Steele, you were saying right before we started, like they're so young that they, they don't know to be afraid or intimidated or yeah. they're too young to be mm -hmm. in their heads. So like, I think that's a huge mental advantage. It is. I yeah. think everybody who's older, like realizes like, yo, this is the Olympics. Like, oh shit. And you, you have that extra like nervous tension where these kids are just like, oh, this is cool. Like, is the, yeah. is there a physical advantage too? I'm just curious. I feel like this is 
Because a few weeks ago we saw um, a 13-year-old boy do a, what, a 1080 or something like that? Mm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just remember growing up, like, how huge it was when Tony Hawk did the 900. And now it feels like the standard, I mean, this happens with a lot of sports, but the standard has, like, changed. Yeah, absolutely. Are they going to be absolute superstars when they're in their 20s, or are the 13-year-old kids going to be beating them? I you know what I mean? I would, I, I would say mm. thirteen year old kids will be beating them. Maybe, but, but that's just because yeah yeah you might have of course there are in every sport there is a yeah. fucking there's a freak of nature there is a once a lifetime talent that comes in and they like dominate for decades and you're like oh shit this person really is holding yeah. their own for the time mm-hmm. but as the sports constantly involve and for the person the only reason I was saying that thirteen year old thing earlier was because for that person as you. Like four years ago, you were nine. Mm-hmm. So as you're in the sport, you might be, you know, cracking in the sport at seven or six, whatever it is. But as you're in the sport, the only thing you kind of know is that I can go to the Olympics now. Yeah. So yeah. it's different for you. There's probably like, a lot of kids who a seed was just planted in them as 1, they saw mm-hmm. skateboarding their first yeah. time. And they were like, whoa, I want to do that. So I'm curious to see, like, over the next however many, five, ten years, what that's going to bring to the sport. So well, I, when you were that age, what was the Olympics? Like, what for you? Like, you were like, um, that's the number one thing you fucking go for. So X-Games, it's a total right? different world. X Games was the biggest contest, but like, I grew up a street skater. I, I didn't grow up caring about contests. Like, I was looking at magazines, you know, and videos, and that's what I, I got inspired to do is go outside and like jump the stairs down the street or something like that. Like, so I didn't get inspired by seeing it on TV. I got inspired by seeing kids at my school doing it and thinking that was the coolest shit ever, and I need to learn how to flip my board and keep riding on it um but nowadays what i think is the game changer for i don't know this generation i guess is the internet it's like when i was coming up you only saw new skateboarding every couple years when the new video dropped with the new team that you were waiting new vhs tape came out and that's what you were anticipating and that was now the new standard and then that would hold it down for a couple years till the new one came out but now it's every day new shit new shit new shit new shit so these kids are just trained to like absorb information so fast and see the progression so fast that they just think that's regular that's normal so they just evolve daily yeah. it's in all the sports mm. too yeah like, yeah yeah but i say because in basketball of course same thing and one mixtape would come out once a year and you get the N one mixtape and be like i got the N one mixtape and you learn the stupid street ball moves that you couldn't use in the first place mm-hmm. in a real game but you still <laughs> learn them you was like it's fucking crazy and now each day you go on instagram the algorithms is just sending you moves that you're like wait people yeah. can do that that's a real person throwing it off the glass and throwing it through the legs twice how you do that how you doing yeah. that like whatever the fuck it is it's always something each day that yeah i don't know a whole bunch i would go to um Street League, shout out to Robert and Alice. They would bring me to Street League mm-hmm. all the time. I don't know a whole bunch, but whenever I would come to you guys' competitions, I definitely would always be like, I would see evolution within even the years I was coming. I was sure. like, damn, this this little motherfucker's coming in now who's doing this thing. Like To me, I don't know shit again, so this means nothing. But to me, you are, I'll give you this, you are like truly like the smoothest skater I've ever seen. Thanks. And my time, like, I'll always be like, this motherfucker's smooth <laughs> shit. Well, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. I appreciate and that. It might- it also must be interesting. Like, do you think that high schools are going to have skate teams now? Like, they should. It, it, it established yeah, it so much That's as a great, sport, Chris. right? Yeah, they should. Yeah, we'll we'll see. I, I, I honestly, I can't call it. I think skateboarding is going to split into factions. To be honest, mm-hmm. I think it's going to splinter apart because you still have that group of actual like core dedicated street skaters who are like fuck the olympics didn't want that shit to have shit's lame skateboarding died and then you have this whole group of kids who just got introduced to skateboarding for the first time because they saw it on the olympics and they think that's how it goes i'm chilling right now thank you and then you have a group of people who are kind of in the middle who are like yeah i'd like to dabble in that but i still like the street so you might i think it's going to splinter apart into different kind of genres i guess yeah that makes sense. that's interesting i remember like because b- skating was such like a punk rock counterculture thing. Mm-hmm. And then it was like it got kind of brought into the mainstream with like with the X Games and with like Tony Hawk for Skater. The video game, I mm-hmm. think, was huge into bringing it into the mainstream yeah. and made you guys like famous athletes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Where before it was like the kids who would go to vans and watch the skate <laughs> tapes right. on the TV yeah. would know who you are. But I, I I've had a conversation with uh, Eric Costin before where mm-hmm. he told us how how much that video game like changed how people looked at skaters. Oh, it's and crazy. I wonder if this is like another step in what skateboarding can be. I'm really curious because 
I guess the only kind of comparison us skateboarders had was uh, snowboarding and what it did for Sean White for the Olympics. True. But if you look at snowboarding as a whole, <coughs> no one else really benefited from the Olympics mm. except Sean White. Even the one year he didn't win gold, Yuri, who won gold, people don't know the fuck that is. Yeah, mm. I was going to say, you know the, the difference is, I would say, is the fact that snowboarding is, is skewed toward a very specific person who can probably only practice and do it over some time versus skateboarding. Yeah, yeah, really well, is something accessible. you can do. Accessible, you can do it full time. It's funny just to see skateboarding at the Olympics because, you know, growing up watching skateboarding, it was like the punk rock thing. And it was always like skateboarder, skateboarding is illegal. Mm -hmm. Everywhere it's mm -hmm. illegal for whatever fucking reason people want to call it illegal mm -hmm. on the list of things that are illegal and they're like yeah this thing of, <laughs> of killing and this thing skateboarding also should be put down there I don't never understood it but I always yeah. thought it was like interesting but it's a yeah. real thing so to see it go from illegal to uh, Olympic fucking sport really is it gotta be fucking cool Sk skateboarding that just gave me like a realization hey, skateboarding is like the weed of sports. I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> it's like <laughs> weed. They were always like, it's drugs. It's drugs. It's bad. It's so bad. But now here we go. It's like weed's getting legal. Yeah. Like skateboarding. <laughs> I can Olympics, be an Olympian now it's one day. Legal. <laughs> so it's like yeah, skateboarding is like that entry level. Like it's got categorized in that bad group, but like finally like became legal. Came onto this size. So I remember those skateboarding <laughs> is not a crime stickers everywhere. Yeah, yeah. On those skateboarding. I was always, that's some California I, I, shit. I, I, I don't you remember, don't that. remember this? Yeah. Nah. I, I, and then I always <laughs> I remember one day yeah. being like, yeah, why the fuck is it <laughs> like, say no uh, skateboarding everywhere? It's because it's a nuisance. We're a nuisance. It's like, if I get it now, like being a property owner or like, you know, a business person, like you have these kids like on the weekend coming to your property that that you own, work your life to open the business, whatever. And this, you come in the morning or on a Monday morning, it's fucking marks all over your ledge in front of your building and it's chipped up and you're like, what the fuck is going on? Like, so I get it from that perspective, you know? So we're a nuisance. We, you know, we sometimes, not intentionally, not on purpose, destroy property or market and scuff it up a little bit, which frustrates people but also like you have those couple of assholes who who ruin it for everybody who will be the kids who are gonna fucking tag all over the place or who will like do something stupid and vandalize because they're not they just rolled with their homies who skate but they're not the actual skaters so they're yeah. just doing shit off to the side while everyone else is actually just skating so those is that guys not every sport though again like is that yeah not like, you I go guess. hoop is a couple you always got people who that who can't hoop for real who just talk shit for you yeah. And they buy the motherfuckers, but they just there. Like so, like for me, it's like I look at it like that, but I also look at it from a perspective of growing up in a big city and growing up where I know gangs is a real thing. Where mm -hmm. I be like, yo, mm -hmm. you would rather motherfuckers be doing anything mm -hmm. other than bullshit. So yeah. why not yeah. let them skateboard? Yeah. Yeah. So also build more skate parks because yeah. then yeah. it keeps a lot of kids Shout out of trouble. trouble. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it it definitely has saved probably more lives than we know because those lives didn't go down that road, but. uh yeah, it's uh, I don't know, I don't know where we went with that, but Wait, I love we it. Know we never go on this show. <laughs> part of, that's fine. part of the that's part of the nature of a show called Wine we and Weed. We smoke weed and we get lost, man. <laughs> Speaking of sports, the NFL is going to fine unvaccinated players 15k for any violation of COVID nineteen protocol. So any unvaccinated NFL players will be subjected to a fine of 15K every time they violate a COVID procedure. So this came from the head of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the coach, who said that if a player um, didn't have a, a mask and every time they weren't wearing a mask and they were unvaccinated, that they would get fined 14K. And he texted um, ESPN that this is the NFL policy and it's league rules. And the league spokesperson confirmed to ESPN that he was correct. So players will essentially be getting fined 15K every time they mess vaccinated. up. Yeah, but, for, but well, being, not for not being vaccinated, for, but for not following COVID, COVID protocol. Yeah. Which, what does COVID protocol look like for them? So let's say if you're not wearing your mask and you take it off because you want to take it off and walk on, camp, on campus somewhere, you get 15K fine every time. You mean at the, yeah, like on their like like just in the locker room, yeah, or in the locker maybe. room, and anywhere within their facilities, you'll get a fifteen k fine. Hmm. I mean, then all the players who are who don't agree with it 
Because they're obviously trying to force them to get vaccinated. Yeah. It's, so you know, basically, players who don't agree with this should just come together and say, we don't want to get vaccinated. Well, he's saying, the coach is saying that close to 85% of the players will be fully vaccinated by the, by the, the season still only starts. one team. Yeah. If, if the NFL is saying this is their actual law, that's going to go for all the teams. Mm-hmm. So that means it goes for all the players. I'm not saying they shouldn't get vaccinated. I'm just saying if they have something against vaccinations, if they feel as though they don't want to do it and it doesn't, it obviously doesn't help them do their job better. And for them, they're like, hey, we don't want to get vaccinated. And they should just all band together and say we don't want to get vaccinated. Not saying I, they shouldn't get vaccinated. Or, or the, you know, I mean, it's just overall, it's probably to be safe by the end. So they kind of have to live in these 2020 rules yeah. because they're not vaccinated. My question yeah. is if if the ones who aren't vaccinated. No, I'm but you want me to come to work. 2020 rules was I stay home. Yeah. yeah, that's true. But if everyone else on the team is vaccinated, there's only two to three people not vaccinated. I mean, the only ones tech who in theory are at risk are just those three right in like theory. if everyone's already mm-hmm. vaccinated then yeah in theory well in theory but now it's because of all this delta variant yeah, like yeah, people yeah. who have the vaccine yeah. getting sick i i understand the locking down yeah see i don't but then that confuses everyone all over again yeah. because yeah, as you I'm just said too. that at the delta variant as you just said more people were getting sick with the vaccine then why are you forcing me to get sick if i can get sick with the vaccine or without the vaccine exactly no I, why I, are you forcing me to get the vaccination if you're in my face saying you can still get COVID, why then what's the incentive for me to take the vaccine? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, sure. for for an athlete, I can see what you're saying. Like for for a normal person, uh, like you know these people who have been admitted to the hospitals who are dying of COVID, none of those people are um, have been vaccinated. People who are dying, people are uh, facing like extreme health measures. But these no, they, athletes no, they said who are they young. Have, it says they've had people die. It says it's been yeah. very rare. Mm-hmm. It's been more rare. It says it's been more, more rare, but it's, it's definitely had people die. So I don't want to say that without the information. So you're that saying we, that everybody should go back yeah. into like kind of I didn't say that. COVID masking rules? <laughs> I mean, I think it's I think it's either everybody goes back into it or these guys follow the rules. But I don't think it works with just these guys are like, no, I don't want it. I'm going to go back until we... Like get a hold on it. Cause but why should you force them to get a vaccination is my question. Why I'm, I'm not saying force them to get a vaccination. I'm just saying wear a mask if you don't want to get the vaccine. It's like a, it's like a oh, peer yeah. pressure yeah. thing. Yeah, so if they mask. just take up their mask then yeah. or do something but that you mean, violates, mask yeah. For- well, I, feel, I mean, while well, I actually play as well, these are the questions I'm. I, oh, that's yeah, a great I question. I wonder if they do. I don't fucking know anything. Nah, I don't. I'm not I think about they're about just making them have a test mm. day of rapid test day of. That's what they're gonna do anyway. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. But there's also other things where if they're not fully vaccinated, they can't go to nightclubs. They can't go to bars, house parties, concerts. That's if what they they're do. saying. You can't go you out. Can't you can't go out. Yeah. yeah that you get fifty k. Yeah. Oh, that just means you gotta catch me, nigga. Mm. Essentially, <laughs> that's what they're thinking. That's about. a completely <laughs> fucking different thing. My no, I'm no, I'm just saying for those yeah. athletes, they're, yeah, of course, those athletes aren't gonna. St- you think you about to tell some NFL players they can't go out no more because you're not vaccinated? They are gonna tell you get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. They're gonna still go out and they're gonna simply whatever when it happens and they get caught, they are gonna pay the fifteen thousand dollars. They gonna they gonna spend fifteen thousand on the table anyway. I know. I was, I was thinking like <laughs> when, when you're working with these huge salaries, fifteen thousand dollars is like it's like a ten dollar fine for a regular job. You it's know a, what I mean? They right? be telling the homies like, man, I'll come out with y'all, but y'all motherfuckers gotta pay for my vaccination fine <laughs> if I get caught. And they gonna be like, right, I put five on that. I mean, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> the bigger players aren't worried about it. It's the younger players that don't make as much that probably will be like, I'm staying inside. And I'm not saying they shouldn't get vaccinated. I'm not telling anybody not to get vaccinated. I think you should get vaccinated if you feel as though you should get vaccinated. Um, I, I I think that it's just, I don't know. It's always a slippery slope on any of these corporations or any companies when they tell you you have to do something or finding you. you I thought me? it was finding them just for not having the vaccine. And I could see that being feeling weird. But I get that it's finding them for not wearing for a mask, mask and, yeah. and going out because, yeah, that puts people and the people who work there who aren't on the team and stuff like that in danger. Wait, so they can't, they can go so out. So it's, it's, but the two, vaccinated it's, mul- can. well, it's multiple things. So there's the fine if you go out to clubs and then there's the fine if you take your mask off and you're unvaccinated. So my question is, is like, <clears throat> if people are still getting sick with the vaccine, if, if, if things are, they're still contagious, still contracting it. Shouldn't the whole team still not be able to go to nightclubs? Because if they can still get it, why well, would thank you? Mm-hmm. You know, like yeah, that makes sense. I, I get what you're, I get what you're thinking, but I also think the percentage wise, like I'm all about odds with all of this shit. Where it's like, 
during lockdown, it was like, well, if you wear a mask and you stay six feet away, like your odds are better. Sure. If at, every once in a while you sit within five feet of somebody, okay, your odds are a little less. Like, and I think overall, if you have the vaccine, your odds right now are way higher than if you don't. And now, and if, so if you're not wearing that vaccine, you got to do something like up your odds by wearing Does a mask. Does anybody know I, I, what are they saying? You know? How effective the vaccine is now with the Delta variant? It's now. like nine. It's still like in the ninety percent, but, but there have been people slips that through, have yeah people have. But it's been in the ninety percent the whole time without any vaccine though. So that's like no no no. It's it's still ninety percent effective, like going to block the Delta variant. What I'm nervous about is like. As time goes on, like how many variants are going to start popping up? How 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 much is this going to keep evolving? And then what the do you do? and then yeah. what do you do? <laughs> That's what makes me nervous. Is like I don't know. No, I don't. I don't, I don't know if any of us has the answers on what to do. Mm-hmm. That's 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 how I feel about any of it. Is like like are we don't now really in a phase where it just it's going to constantly do this forever? Like yeah, I don't know. for me, it's just improve your odds as much as you can. Right, so, you know, because. You know, I like I don't I'm not going to freak out and just 100 percent of the time make sure that my odds like there's no way I'm ever going to get sick ever again. But if there's things I can do to increase, if I'm in a fucking crowded place, like like maybe I should be wearing a mask just to increase my odds. But maybe not because it's outdoors. And have you had COVID yet? Have you had? I haven't had COVID. I I had it uh, around Christmas time. Any Um, long term effects? No, thank God. Thank God. You know, I had a pretty mellow, That's achy good. body for a few days. Miss, lost my smell and taste for only a few days. Mm. Um, so I'm just hoping I still got the antibodies, you know? Like, that's not even wood, but I'm trying mm-hmm. to knock on some wood around yeah. here. But, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just hoping I got antibodies holding me down right now. Yeah, I feel like we've been, like, kind of quiet about COVID recently, which has actually felt really good. But, yeah. <laughs> but, but it was dangerous because I almost, like, forgot about it. I got back used to life. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. That's how I feel, too, and I'm like, Damn now it. we're getting pulled right back into it. Yeah. Like, damn. The whole thing's just tricky. Yeah. Tricky, guys. This it's whole tricky. thing is just We didn't tricky. solve COVID today. So, right-handed man almost masturbates to death, medical case study says. And why did his dominant hand matter? So, the unnamed man, <laughs> the unnamed 51-year-old man, right-handed man from Japan, admittedly enjoyed They're trying the to get as, <laughs> as close as possible. <laughs> When I yeah. this nigga's name, they like he lives on Bourbon Street. So, he got the gold medal too. Like. <laughs> <laughs> the right-handed man from Japan. So he admittedly enjoyed pleasuring himself several times a day, according to a new case study. However, one explosive love session went awry <laughs> when, after climaxing, the serial stroker was struck down by a thunderclap serial of stroke. headaches and severe vomiting. Ooh. Unnerved by the unsexy <laughs> symptoms. How much are you <laughs> masturbating? <laughs> For you to fucking get nauseous and start vomiting. Vomiting, yeah. I'm not even sure what happened. So he went to the hospital and they found that he had low blood pressure and confusion, which are two tail signs of when you have a brain accident, essentially. So they, the emergency medical technicians suspected he had a stroke while stroking and a <laughs> CT scan confirmed the man had indeed suffered a hemorrhage. Wow, yeah. So he had his a brain stroke. Jerked himself yeah. To death. Mm-hmm. But how do but how is masturbating correlating to this? How how, is, how can you put pin masturbating on him having a stroke because people have strokes all the time? He was 51. He could have just been having a stroke. I want to yeah, I want to know what, how we know what he just the, had, He could have just had a stroke like, mid masturbation. I'm not convinced that the masturbation like really <laughs> played a key role in I this. I think it might have been timing where he was had a stroke at the same That's time. That's what I'm saying. People have had heart attacks during sex or strokes And it's not sex like sex a, gave me the heart attack. Yeah. Or if somebody has a heart attack driving a car, it's not like driving the car yeah. gave me yeah. the heart attack. That's what I'm Paul wondering. immediately like, defended masturbation. Yeah, he was like, like, this is <laughs> bullshit. I will not allow you. <laughs> masturbation is not a crime. <laughs> they already got me afraid to go outside. I can't be afraid of staying inside. <laughs> 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 it's an important <laughs> time for masturbation. <laughs> so he survived and was released from the hospital within two weeks in excellent condition. Excellent. <laughs> excellent. excellent. Yeah. excellent Better condition. than he started. Yeah. Like you can go back to your regular routine. <laughs> he strapped his hands up. <laughs> <laughs> that was like rehab for him because he couldn't him? just jerk off constantly. Oh, that's true. You but know? why did him be a right handed matter? I'm sorry. Yeah, that's I what I, I want to know. I think it was the article just adding, you know, a little razzle dazzle. So lefties it. are good. Yeah, <laughs> I'm left-handed. I'm chilling. Yeah. You're good. Oh, it doesn't say anything about it. I just, I'm trying to think about how many sessions you had to have in one day for you to give out. 
for you to legit be like, yo, fam, I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> did he th- did he come to and go like that was the best masturbation session I've Did he ever come had. to <laughs> no, he, he started after vomiting. having a stroke? He started vomiting, so maybe it wasn't. <laughs> Well, in 2016, a hospital worker allegedly died of a heart attack while, master- Ooh, while masturbating to porn at work. Uh, yeah, but oh. then again, it's a heart attack. How do we know he didn't just have yeah. big juicy steak what? the night before? Like, <laughs> but what death do like, we want from masturbation? To be like, that nigga died from nothing. See, <laughs> I'm starting to think to see a conspiracy going on here. Like, what's going on? <laughs> They're killing <laughs> masturbators. I'm yeah. saying, like, at what point, like, what what do you want want to happen, man? Masturbation for you to be like. That was a masturbation death. That one feels like, legit. Like you rub yourself till you bleed so much you bleed out. Like, okay, like, okay. Fuck. That know. is a masturbation. You death. want a gory dick story? Yeah, that's clear. I want a gory dick story. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a clear, like clear evidence connection. Dying. His dick bled yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. He, that he, is clear. He rubbed the skin right off the shit. Ooh, yeah, yeah. everywhere. Dick looked deflated. You, you come on the floor, yeah. then you slip on the cum. No, that, that that's not really a mat. That's still just no, a slip. That's still an accident. You slip, <laughs> you slip and then you bust your head on the side. Yeah, of but a thing. you could do that eating a banana. You know, yeah, like you die from yeah. a slip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the slip is what got you, not yeah. the dick. Yeah, <laughs> everybody yeah. knows slipping is dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. It has right. to be a a bleed out. A bleed out. I think this is the yeah. only case. I mean, it could also be autoerotic asphyxiation. Oh, but, but that again, that, it's not directly. It's not really direct. Again, it's your, it's your, your fre- that's your freaky, uh, your freaky <laughs> fetish that thing. got you. Like that's <laughs> yeah. How crazy yeah, are you to go just masturbation <laughs> to choke yourself out while you like beat off? That people like you one on one and you like I gotta get this choke off like you're a wild first of all you're risking it every time you're getting <laughs> choked from both ends right there like <laughs> <laughs> back and forth this guy does it six times a day this guy's He's gonna make the right interesting listen yeah six, I, that's I, what he said six times a day said him several times yeah, a day several, several, what do you what do you consider several, several. don't, don't don't put don't put that bad name on masturbation. Let, don't listen. I'm don't just gonna like go out there and say it. Let's all let's all we we were all locked indoors for the last year. Don't act like you didn't <laughs> several times a day yourself. You know what I mean? Like several at, times. At some points, you know, like mm. I'm gonna just put. You it want out me to there. be safe, don't you, <laughs> <laughs> babe? I'm just having a stroke. <laughs> Especially single people out there, man. Don't tell me they they he was the only one. No, there's going, a lot of people in that in, hospital, yeah. and they just said died of COVID. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they came in, had bled out through his dick. It was the story you wanted. Half and it was like he died of COVID. <laughs> yeah, we want to yeah. give you a masturbation vaccine <laughs> to make sure this doesn't happen. And that, then I'd be suspicious. I would, yeah. Oh, would you take the masturbation vaccine? No. If everybody just started dying from like <laughs> masturbation, but they was like, "Yo, the only way you can masturbate but now." But they don't is die from the sex, or, or, like, or is it, is no, it, is sex it ejaculating is that the, kills you? What's no, the, the ejaculation is fine. It's the it's this, uh, um, the the loneliness. Starting, starting. It's the loneliness that's killing you. <laughs> 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 Still, <laughs> masturbation <laughs> isn't the cause. <laughs> It's loneliness. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, you can't pin it on masturbation. You bro. can't. You can't. Let masturbation oh, live. Masturbation is the one relationship we've all been in for a long time. It's the one consistent relationship <laughs> in your life. Yeah, man. But you know you'll never leave. You can go through a divorce. Guess what? That hand is still right there. We don't need them no way. Hello, old friend. <laughs> so a man with no arms is accused of harassing women by asking to touch their feet. I think it's a joke. I like the joke. <laughs> I think the man should not be arrested or dealt with. Well, so, he also can't die from masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> That's he's good. safe sure that way. That, that foot, he might do <laughs> stiff with the feet. Well, then you yeah. teach yourself probably. He probably has figured out a way. He's had to, have, right? For sure. Yeah. I mean, for sure. Maybe some lotion, right? Yeah, or the couch gets well, but that explains why crazy. maybe he's asking yeah. women to touch their feet or something because he's like, I need something. Like, you know how much pent up, you know, no, like he's sexual joking. energy he must have. He said, "Let me touch your feet," because they look up uh, and be like, "Ah, oh, you ain't got no arms." And he like, "Y'all was fucking with y'all. Give me a hug." <laughs> okay, so uh, according to the article, a warrant, has, a warrant has been issued in Arkansas for a man with no arm who is accused of harassing women. So three women have filed reports in uh, the county about an, uh, about a man who's harassing them while shopping in Conway. 
Dang, I haven't heard about Conway in a minute. Damn. So police said incidents occurred between September 2020 and June 21 at Walmart and a Kroger store. So they were all very frightened and very uncomfortable by the incidents. But he had to have an accomplice. So <laughs> he was accused of following the women around the store and making <laughs> inappropriate legs. comments to them. Yeah, but think about it, dude. Like, okay, unless he was close enough from home to walk there, which is very possible, but he had to get out the door. You know, obviously, he, he, there's so He's, many. He had to Paul, get his. He has figured that shit he out. had to get his shirt on, his underwear on, his pants on, and all this shit. Like somebody's helping him. No, no, he must have. He, he might. He probably he might not. Have, he it. might not have arms for a long time. And if that's the case, he's taught himself a full routine each I day. I need to see him how he puts his <laughs> underwear on. I need to see that. I, I, I bet see you can do underwear. I can see it. <laughs> somebody, somebody's helping him wipe his ass. No, I'm serious. Like, yeah, pipe his ass is good because that like your leg can't go back like that. There's there's some questions. <laughs> Somebody's helping. You don't think he's got a wiper? Maybe no, he got he got a wiper. He got a wiper. He, you're right. But that wiper don't know that he going to Walmart acting a fucking fool. Maybe, yeah. but like, yeah, I'm just saying, man. There's there's more questions. There's more than meets the eye with this one. In my mind, I got questions. <laughs> you're a detective. I'm noticing. I'm this. just thinking. Like, you have questions about everything here. <laughs> Still doesn't give him the right to go do that, by the way. I'm just saying, somebody's helping this guy. So, essentially, he would walk up to the women and ask if he could massage their feet. Hilarious. He's being a goof, yeah. He's hilarious. <laughs> he has no arms, Courtney. The it's man is ca- like, I mean, massage It's feet? kind of funny, but we definitely know that this guy is per- who's, like, going up to women at Kroger and Walmart. Enough that three of them three reported Three women have... It's like, hey, surprise! You know, okay, you know he's, yeah. he's, he's, he's freaking beautiful. It's definitely creepy. Like, y'all just wrote this character for this man. <laughs> oh, you're have- like... You, like, have this, like, beautiful, like, veteran story in your mind. I didn't make him shit. a veteran. I, you know, <laughs> just uh, some heartwarming thing. <laughs> the Lieutenant Dan of arms, you know. I have him as a dude with no arms who tells a joke about touching things. <laughs> <laughs> it's very simple. Kidding. Nothing, no arms. Nothing just- else. I take him as a dude who says, let me massage your feet. Yeah, yeah. It's like a good joke. <laughs> That's like a way to break the ice if he's break trying to pick ice. up on a woman. Like, But yeah. the, let me ask this question. Like, Does it stop there? <laughs> so, <laughs> no, but like, if you got no arms, right? You're, you're, you're inherently more um, likely to freak someone out. Right. If, imagine a guy with two, no, seriously, a guy with two arms who walks up to a woman. What if he's being a perfect gentleman? I'm just, if I walk up to a woman and say, "Hi, I think you're beautiful. I'd love to take you out sometime. Maybe massage your feet. Whatever." Like, and I'm just being sweet and gentle. He could be, imagine lead. me walking up the same way, just like you know, like walking up and like you're, it's gonna, it's an extra <laughs> layer that's gonna freak you out that you might just be like, "Yeah." Like, this is true. These are the conversations I live on this podcast. I also think <laughs> it's a good opener, true. though. This, it is. It's a it great is. opener. If, if you don't have a sense problem, of humor, though, it's like offensive. If, yeah, yeah, if you don't have a sense of humor and you really don't know how to respond because you're like, "Yo." What I can say back to you might be offensive because I don't know how to respond because yeah. I've never been approached so aggressively by a person with no arm. For the three <laughs> so women who I, complained about him, there's a hundred who laughed. <laughs> you know what, well, Paul? He was following I like the way you Paul is the devil's advocate, okay? <laughs> well, I was killing the show. <laughs> I like the way you frame this shit up because I agree with you. Can I massage your feet <laughs> as an armless guy? Your dad was a comedian, right? Yeah. It's a great joke to start with. I didn't even think of it as a joke till you said it. Now I'm thinking, he's fucking right. <laughs> no, it's a total, yeah, it's a great joke. <laughs> it's on, it's also the three Karens he has. How are they going to arrest him? That's fucked up. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. (laughs) I think that guy's so funny though that the police showed up and he said something like that. Like I think he's that type of guy. We're in pursuit of an unarmed man. (laughs) 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 I'm assaulted by an unarmed man. (laughs) Oh man. (laughs) What happens to the guy? Does he is he in trouble or do they just let him go on account of it being kind of funny? They haven't arrested him yet. Because, <laughs> oh, they haven't man. Ca- they haven't caught they couldn't him. cuff him. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's messed oh, up though. <laughs> you get anything, you get anything in life with? Nah, that's messed up though. <laughs> you gotta move on from it. You, get, you know, you gotta be able to smile at the pain, man. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's crazy though. <laughs> All right. I, I think we should move on, but I think my man's cool. <laughs> Absolutely. That's <laughs> hilarious.
So there's a new study that finds schizophrenia is linked to excessive cannabis use. Oh. oh. No, we're reporting <laughs> bad weed use. We don't want to do this. On this podcast. We don't even like doing this shit. We don't want to do this. Chris brought it up last week. We, we mm-hmm. put it into the fucking text messages this week. Yeah. We don't he have wanted to he do this. He wanted, because I was gone he last week, so you wanted to do this. No, no, no. We, we, during the week, we were hanging out, and I was like, oh, man, look at this complex article, and we read it. And it was, uh, and, and we both went like, I said, oh no. I said right away, that could be true. That could be true. <laughs> <laughs> we were bad. like, fuck, true. I guess I could see that. <laughs> but I, I don't want to report bad weed. I news. have another devil's advocate thought by that. Let's uh, go. Okay, go ahead. I think if you're already prone to it and you smoke, you're more likely, because yeah. I've had so many friends, uh, or not so many, I've had a few friends who went off the Richter and, uh, and they were heavy weed smokers, but... I, I think it was there was something already there in yeah. that that mm-hmm. it tapped I, into. I see what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. yeah, I've heard that stories of people who have that experience with acid too, where like they have it one time and they I can't ever go back. I know. If, I but do I, have a friend like that too. He never came back the same. But I Still also think day. there's a predetermined. You got to know if you can do that shit or not, and what's in your family and How stuff like that. How the fuck you gonna know? I think that. Yeah, that's a little. I think that. I mean, I guess. Yeah, I don't want to blame that person. Can they run tests to, to find and look through your family history? To be like, oh, let me see if you're gonna be good at acid or not. <laughs> 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 yeah, nigga, it's like you gonna freak out. <laughs> you might not want to do that. <laughs> That Joshua Tree trip you got planned, nigga. It's not a good look. <laughs> I also was kind of like, what if, like, oh, well, I care. What did I say? <laughs> that maybe, like, I get if you get high enough and you feel like you're two people. I could see that happening. Not in the you're predetermined to it mentally way, but just in a person that gets high way. And but a person then I'm like, high, who tells a joke for yourself and then you laugh at that joke yeah. for yourself. <laughs> yeah, I don't know Sometimes you're high and you're like, ah, oh, fuck this nigga. You're like, no, man, it's cool. And you're like, you're right. Thanks. <laughs> That's good, you know, too. In That's a healthy. way, it's helping you access different personalities so I could yeah. see that if you're mentally like, I'm a Gemini. Pretty distributed to it. <laughs> You're already fine. naturally yeah, too busy. Yeah. Fine, guys. Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> we just enhance your Gemini. We help. <laughs> we helps me become a normal zodiac sign. Do you have a lot of other Gemini's that you friends fuck with? Yeah, or a thousand percent. Okay, I was not sure. No, Gemini's love each other. I was not sure if Gemini's were like, yeah, but no, fuck everyone else is Gemini. No, they're no. crazy. No, I'm just aware. I, I've like, had I'm two. not a Gemini. I'm not aware that we are crazy. I'm aware that we're crazy. Like, I don't like the Gemini's that you meet that be like, people are crazy. You be like, but so are we, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> we do stuff. <laughs> what, what I've noticed with Gemini's is like, Gemini's use the Gemini excuse though. I'm a Gemini. Like, what? If, I've if, never some, used if that. something crazy happens, like, yeah, it's because I'm a Gemini. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I had two girlfriends, long term girlfriends, both Gemini's. It, I heard that that one a lot. <laughs> <laughs> are you like are you like are you like fair like, no I'm, do you yeah. give into it you like no i'm single now <laughs> <laughs> wait what's your sign i'm capricorn i don't know what that means <laughs> yeah, yeah i don't Jury. know capricorn well either we just know gemini we just know gemini, know gemini. Know gemini. <laughs> nobody knows what anybody is so, yeah. oh gemini <laughs> It's coin toss. Like <laughs> <laughs> that really is how people determine everything. Because yeah. you can tell me anybody else. I don't know it. Yeah. Only reason that I even know Zodiacs is because I'm a Gemini. People, <laughs> and people would come to me and say, you're a Gemini? That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> and I would just be like, okay. <laughs> don't know what I did to you. <laughs> we people can do that, though, too. They're like, I don't know. I was high. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know? So yeah. it makes sense. This double sidedness that we provide but once again i do not want to be part of any anti-pop propaganda peddling because i think they're already using it on like the fox news of the world to be like weed is actually bad and makes people crazy there's one study and i'm like oh here we but fucking this is go. the news but like that's my thing with anything in life because i don't get too wrapped up in any of it because it's all the fucking news and news is a business at the end of the day news has a job to do and we will read one week that coffee is killing everyone, and mm-hmm. the very next week you hear that coffee can extend your life to yeah. be 130. Mm-hmm. Nobody knows what the nobody think fucking yeah. And it's also just a study. So if they have one credible study, you could do a study over here and a study over there. Mm. Two different fucking universities can do their own studies. They can both come out their own fucking actual uh, uh, um, 
There, sure. there's scientific evidence for both studies that could be true. That does not mean they're both false, yeah. or whether one's false and the other isn't. It just means that these things could both be linked to something. I agree. So they'll they'll fucking promote that shit all day and say, yeah. "Hey, we could kill you," and then be like, "Oh, we actually extends your life this long." So it's like you just never know with any of this shit. You gotta yeah. just you gotta you know go with your good. I with guess with all this information these day and age that we're getting, I think we're getting more confused. Than ever, like more confused than informed. Yes, I know. I, I see that happening shit. a lot. Yeah, yeah, more confused than informed is yeah. a good way to put it. Because you you turn on any news station, you get <laughs> this 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 about any subject, and you're just like, fuck. I don't. I'm still. That'd be the name of a cool news show. This, more this, confused this. than informed, <laughs> <laughs> and it's all just going over news, and you're just way more confused <laughs> about any of it than you are informed. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> hey man, just give me my credit. The, I think that could be a of it. No, <laughs> that could be a wine and weed tagline as well. More, More confused than informed. That's us most of the time on this show. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, it's Courtney. I know that y'all always comment about us not having ads. Well, we got ads now. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Upstart. So many Americans experienced financial hardship in the last year. I know I did, and so many of my coworkers did, and friends and family members. Upstart can help you regain your footing and get things back on track. I know I certainly want to get things back on track, and I'm sure you do too. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. So with this, you can receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. With a five-minute online rate check, you can see your rate upfront for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. Could y'all imagine that again? $50,000 all within five minutes and you get, what? I need that in my life. So <laughs> find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash wine and weed. That's upstart.com slash wine and weed. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash wine and weed. All right, y'all, I have a question for you. And y'all know I love to ask y'all questions. Have you ever messed with somebody and you were about to get a pop in, but they needed a little trim trim down there? Well, I have a solution for you. Manscaped has a new trimmer that's waterproof and you can use it in the shower. Trust me, you need it. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code wine and weed at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code wine and weed at manscaped.com. Escape the shrubs and weeds this summer and shine with Manscaped. Okay, so also speaking of Geminis that are wilding right now. Oh, fuck. Sorry. <laughs> Kanye West is reportedly paying $1 million per day to live. In the uh, Atlanta like Stadium that. while he it's finishes not a million a day. his album. So according to a reporter, Kanye is allegedly paying millions per day to stay at the stadium. She tweets, sources tell me Kanye West is paying one million a day to stay in the locker room at the stadium. Marketing genius. He can't even stay in the, the head suite, the owner suite. Nothing. They got him in the locker room. It was, locker room probably popping though, low key. Which stadium is this? What team is this? Atlanta Falcons. This is the Falcons? They just redid that, didn't they? They re just redo that stadium. Yeah, that's a nice stadium. And Kanye lit there. Yeah, he been wearing the same outfit though. Each well, he day. like has been popping up at soccer matches. Yeah, they saw him. They was like, "Hey, I know what's me. happening." What's happening? It's not Kanye. He got somebody in there Ooh, in that match. He's somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I love you. He's not I like it, man. What the <laughs> he's in. Fuck? He's in Wyoming right now. Back at the back yeah. at the ranch. Who and is it's in It's marketing there? genius. He's that's a Van marketing Jones. genius. Somebody, yes. Yeah, <laughs> that, Somebody. That's what he's spending his hundred million dollars on. He spends hundred million dollars each day on standing. But it's marketing because we're talking about it. He was supposed mm -hmm. to have the listening party. Everybody, yeah. everybody's talking about Don da Don this and that. When's it gonna happen? So Meanwhile, you think him Wyoming missing posted. deadlines is part of marketing? He's his own boss. He makes his own deadline, and he can change true. it whenever he wants. But like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Has anybody even have we even seen any real like? critiques or like critics like reviews for Donda album like that's been like hey this was really good mm -hmm. or really bad I've only seen like friends of his be like hey it's good I haven't seen anybody else who's been you know, a lot of motherfuckers was in them stadiums yeah it was over like 42 to these goddamn K albums. people yeah I saw there. more like but, look but, I was there than like yeah, this was I saw, great I yeah. saw everybody be like I was there man I saw but Kanye. didn't he not play any music I, I wasn't paying attention only, i just heard he just stopped and didn't play it and didn't start or anything like the only thing i heard I play was music? The oh he did 
He played he the played. Jay-Z song. He played a couple songs. Yeah, but that wasn't... Maybe it's pe- people aren't talking about the album because they don't feel like they have the... It hasn't been released. Released, so it's, yes. We can't really it's hard talk to about say it. here. That is interesting, though. No, that's people, not why. You would have had phone snippets of something coming out. The Pablo... I remember the Pablo party being different than the album. Like, because yeah, he did a Pablo listening party. He said it was coming on Friday. They didn't come out with it I for think like he's a mad weeks. genius, dude. This is, yeah, it's this not supposed is, to come out until like great. August now. This is great. Yeah. This is mad genius. I love Kanye. Now it's mid August? Yeah. I love Kanye. I like the uh, push of the deadline. I don't think does. this project is going to be good. No. But no. some of his projects, like, even when they're not good, it's like you could always spin it like, no, nah, I'm just ahead of my time. Like, you 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 like this in ten years. That's you know what, what motherfuckers do. I don't try to give Kanye that excuse. Yeah. I expect greatness from Kanye. He is yeah, he yeah, is one sure. of the greatest artists ever. Sure. So like I look at him, I don't know. I just I still don't think. Maybe it's just me selfishly wanting something different from somebody than they want to give, or what than where they are in life as well. And that's not fair or cool, whatever. But at the same time, I don't. Okay, motherfucker. Uh, I don't. <laughs> um, sit sit sit. <laughs> Sick, bro. You're embarrassing me. Uh, I don't think that we have, quote unquote, Kanye back. I think this man is still going through whatever he's going through as far as right in front of us, and we just want music from him, and that's all he knows to go to, so he gives us music. But it don't ever feel like we ain't felt in projects like we even know what the fuck is going on. We just be ready to listen to shit because he giving it to us. But we ain't felt no connection with the artist in forever. Mm-hmm. I agree like, with that. Yeah. Especially you know the like, lyricism. So it's like super it's unfair of us as society. He's being he's getting richer and richer throughout all of this stuff. So it gets confusing when you're still making more money and, and something might not be right or clicking there. That can be very yeah. confusing for you. But at the same time, it's cause he is so great that he could give us himself on thirty percent and it still be something. Like, we still listen to it and be like, yo, the nigga ain't the worst. Yeah. He ain't gonna never be the worst because he's so fucking good. Right, right, right. So mm-hmm. it's like, he might not be himself. He might not be well, yeah. but we still could take his non well ass. And, and, and 30% is like, man, Kanye is still good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I just ain't felt that connection with Kanye yeah. to like, I'm a real fucking Kanye fan. Yeah. And I would love to dive into a Kanye album and be like, there's something really here and there's something that I've been missing and craving. I just feel like when I see Kanye in a fucking mask and a red bubble jacket and red pants and he living in a fucking stadium in Atlanta, I'm like, something ain't right. I still don't think that's him in that mask. (laughs) 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 We go back to (laughs) that video. But at least that's one thing to say how great he is. Like He's so great that you... Just comparing him to him, you know what I mean? Like you're just comparing him to his past, like yeah. so. Somebody wrote in a, it is cool. in a yeah, it's pretty. In sweet, a yeah. Kanye tweet, I read that he, he, he became everything he told us not to be, and I was like, the, I to me that's so true. I feel like in his lyricism at the beginning, condemned all these things that like he wound up like becoming himself. That's why I was so like ah oh, when he like married Kim Kardashian. I was like. Damn, huh? you gonna, Dang. That's you gonna really show that man for marrying somebody? Yeah. You can't find love with an individual? Because up, I think the things that attract him, him to, I think the thing, I think he knows the things that are negative that attract him to <laughs> um, these things, but he continues to play them. And in and, and part, that's part of his like genius and that's part of the way he's relevant and stuff like that. I've never had a problem but, with Kim know. Kardashian. I just want to say that. That's Chris, oh, I think that's, Kim Kardashian and Chris Trump are view. the same the same angle i think he turned that way uh, no and turned this way and it's all like clout it's all like clout chasing and, and, no and I, try, I, I think it's all like clout chasing instead of like chasing what you actually have within you that's fair i, that's, I don't that's I how don't i really feel care. Maybe, maybe they have a beautiful romance that yeah. i don't know about no no i don't but I don't, it feels very like showy and what she represents is but I, I, the that's, bad that's part. my problem right there is that what you saying what she represents Kim Kardashian ain't done anything but expose what society represents. Kim Kardashian isn't any. Kim Kardashian didn't do shit. Her fucking having sex with a dude and and, and blowing up on what if if you want to look at that as her her platform or how she blew up. That says something about society, not about her. Mm. But I, I if she fucks somebody, that's, that's cool. her fucking business. I, okay, society. I don't mean to hate on her. Maybe Boy, I'm just saying she, the concept. But then she camera. monetized those things as a business person. If a man did it, we wouldn't have a problem with it. Because she's a woman, we've looked at it and been like, oh, you're bad for society, you're bad for women, you're bad for this. 
Kim Kardashian and her family ain't did nothing nobody else wouldn't fucking do. If we gave people who were not deemed fucking talent, that talented or whatever it is, a platform, and why would they not constantly take from a platform if they ain't supposed to be there in the first place? She ain't did shit that you wouldn't do, motherfucker. If you, uh, I don't know. I think there's plenty of people who would not follow you the value, follow the value system that Kim Kardashian. Yeah, followed. but if that well, was the case, they would have never, they would never ended up in that situation in the first place. You know. Well, no. I mean, that's what they do. I, I don't want to hate on them as a personal thing. I'm with you that it's a reflection of society, and I hate on that part of society. You know what I mean? So for Kanye yeah. to go, I'm with them, makes me go like, no, you could be this part of society. To me, I like the Jay-Z route. I like who Jay-Z decides to uplift. I like that he married a, another artist who they push each other to continue to be legends. And I think the fact that he yeah, married a publicity that that family, to marry like it's a PR family. The family yeah. only does PR. Yeah, but that's like, you ain't hey, going to tell that man would put his dick in his heart. Are you crazy? Maybe. You, that man want to put his dick in his heart some way. He could do what the fuck he want to. I, I, think I know. That, it's just that, I think, well, yeah, sometimes you, you got to make you a can, bigger decision yeah, than your dick. But that's not the decision for you. That's a decision that you to want outside, him to yeah. have True. for you. A selfish decision. I'm not saying it was the right decision either. I'm not saying the, the Kardashians represent anything that I would ever represent. And to me, world. Kardashian but and I, Trump but, are very similar to who they are. Like, they, they take mean? advantage... They, they have nothing to base their fame on. They don't really have real, there's not a real valuable thing underneath. They've just convinced you that they're valuable through I, their marketing. I would argue Kim Kardashian has done more valuable things than Trump. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, that's fair. But they, it's, about, it's about tricking people. It's about faking it till you make it in the biggest way you possibly can. And they did it. And they made it. And maybe that's America. I don't know. It just kind of makes it me sad. It is America. You know what I mean? So America is the home of the scammer, baby. Get with it to get I lost. know. That kind of fucking sucks. Yeah. You know? That's what I'm it's saying. All, it's, all, it's all perspective, man. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. It's, it's all, I, that's that's how I, I guess, just felt yeah. about Kanye in my heart. Mm -hmm. No, I'm a big Kanye fan. Of course you want to see Kanye come back and be the old Kanye and have the values that he had on college dropout and it is right but that's not his reality you are a product of your environment Kanye's and i'm environment entertained has not by been his that for how long we like yeah i love jay-z and beyonce i'm a big jay-z and beyonce fan i do like what they represent i still think it even took them time to get into uh, find their footing and what they represented i think kanye may truly go through was it schizophrenia it's schizophrenic I think that he goes through his actual issues so that we don't know who we're getting. So, of course, you want him to to be somebody that he used to be. But guess what? He probably struggling just being him. Mm -hmm. He probably just fighting True. every day on being him. So it's probably hard to be like, all right, motherfucker, let me go back and tap into what my mama taught me. When I ain't even been there in 20 fucking years. 25 years i ain't even lived in chicago or nowhere near it i ain't around the people who i used to be around i'm in los angeles i'm in hollywood i'm in calabasas i mean wherever it is so i'm just trying to maintain being that shit you add that shit on top of i might be diagnosed with something that i'm struggling with for real yeah motherfucker you don't know what you're gonna get yeah to me i think you got justin laboy announcing the think, album and, that's and what you get it, <laughs> it's a big challenge to also put yourself in that family. Like one thing that family has super strong is like some sort of mental health ability to just like do that constant release and taking of criticism. They've and been raised. I'm sure it. that's not easy. You know what I mean? So I'm serious. And to marry into that, <laughs> that family, the fuck, you know, I don't, I, some people are like, Oh, Instagram is easy. Like, no, that's a lot of like fucking putting it's, out it's that they have easy to do these days you know? for everyone to have an opinion. But, I mean, you know, but to, but to put himself in, in that being, situation is all I was saying. Sure, but he had a different perspective from that situation than we had. You know, he had a f eyewitness, firsthand view of of the circumstance he was getting. We have a how many times removed view just from what we see on our phones perspective. You know, so I don't know. It's hard to That's say. Very true. Hard That's one thousand percent true. You meet people all the time who society, who media, they're players and leagues and. Everywhere media will tell you is this one person, and then you meet them and be like, "Hey, that person was so nice, or they were this, or they were that." Yeah. I hate that society or the mm -hmm. media says that you're this. All I'm saying, I don't know Kim Kardashian like that. 
I don't really be in those like those kind of circles. But at the same time, he obviously met the woman and saw something in her. Okay. And and she certainly has something in her. A lot, you know. Okay, very Chris, that was <laughs> that, that was meant. too far. Okay, I just said she's very <laughs> successful. There's, you there's know, just, there's no owner's manual on how to behave in the type of stratospheres that they're all in. You know what I mean? Like That's fair. for any of us to be put in that situation, just be expected to operate like as if we should know what the fuck to do in that situation is, is absurd. You know, like everybody like yeah. So you just got So you like the Rose more than Kim Kardashian? <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking. I don't know. I'm asking the real question. I don't have a problem with either, either of them, but I'm asking like if you had to pick a, a wife for him out of his last two relationships, which I think were Amber Rose and Kim Kardashian, who would you say, you know what, I'm going to go with this one for Kanye? This is an I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a hard choice for me. I don't know Amber Rose as well. I like I You like, know Kim well, pretty I well? I know what Amber <laughs> Rose does. No, I, like, I don't know what she does as well. I know she He's has like, a slut walk. Well. I, I know she's a model. You know, I know pictures of her. Okay. But I don't know her as it. I don't know what she, like, represents or what her life is like or anything like that. Okay. But... I mean, I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you you think he's in the right place. I don't. I don't fucking care. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I want that man to be happy. I want that man to be at peace. I want that man to be well. I want that man to not seem like he. That man's wearing a fucking bubble jacket in Atlanta, allegedly right now in the summer, <laughs> and a goddamn stadium. <laughs> Everything is not okay. That's what I'm saying. I want that man well. So do I care about Kim Kardashian and them? Nah. I definitely enjoyed Kanye pre Kim, probably more. But I don't wouldn't say that she's the fault of his all his issues or worries or whatever his problems. Um, but I want that man well, man. I, I think that he obviously ain't happy there, and that's why they've made the decision as mature adults to say maybe we shouldn't further this. But uh Nah, you know, I would love for Kanye to get him a black sister, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> get him a black queen back on his team, you feel me? <laughs> but to each his own, do what you want to do, man. Even the kind of I didn't like as they came out, I do listen to them later and I go like, these are pretty good. Like well, I do good. tend to, I, I like the way you said like in 20 years you might like them. I feel that way a lot about his stuff I didn't like when it came out. I'm like, now I, now I like Life of Pablo. You listen to gospel yet? I I one time. <laughs> oh man, even Kanye time. can't get you over to Jesus, huh? <laughs> I listened to it once, and I listened to the On Guide song a few more times. Put a couple of them on a playlist, but that one didn't hit with me. Uh, but maybe if I listen back to it now, you might be a Christian. Let's <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Influencer sold uh, her digital love for one million PLN. <laughs> So she essentially sold her love as a digital token for NFT. Yeah, so, but what does that mean? Yeah, she she doesn't know. So she <laughs> literally said when they asked her what it was and why she allowed someone to spend 250K to buy her digital love, she said, I can't explain it exactly what it is, but if you do not know this, you will probably find out about it in the future. I want to be an innovator and, and create the future. So I want the first person in the world to tokenize emotions. Physical love, platonic love, and digital love may be different, but each one is real in the same way as our thoughts and feelings. I got a lot of questions. Okay, so she goes out and she gets a real ass boyfriend, not an NFT boyfriend, a real boyfriend. Yep, sorry, my so love's already her. bought. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. It's, she's a digital but she, hooker. But she <laughs> she gets a real boyfriend, right? And she's mm -hmm. like, yo, I got a real boyfriend. And can she like fall in love with her real boyfriend? When this other dude bought her love for two hundred fifty thousand, he has to buy or, the NFT. Or, what do <laughs> you mean? He her real, buy. her her real boyfriend has the to buy. The new guy from. has to buy the NFT in order to get with her. My, also, oh, in order for her to say, her, "I love you." Gotta you gotta buy. Oh, you gotta buy the NFT for my me. My question is: Is <laughs> who's the person that's gonna come out and say, "I sold my soul in NFT"? So, oh, oh, that's gonna that's gonna that's kind of a good sure. art project. Like I like that. I want to sell my soul yeah. to to like. Show How much something. can I buy your soul for? On Ooh. NFT, a lot of people, a lot of people already sold that already, but, but yeah, I don't know about crazy. NFT souls. But if it's digital, Start does she just like souls. text him and send him pictures? What about collect NFT souls? Then you, then you're the it, NFT <laughs> devil. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you share the fuck on. My army hammer. <laughs> 
Uh, no, you're gonna start buying people's souls. Uh, I mean, that's a very devil move. Who's the, but like <laughs> who's dumb enough to like? I feel like I don't know NFT anything because it all confuses me. It makes me feel like if somebody was to be like, "Yo, you bought my love," it's like the person dumb enough number one to buy your love. I don't fucking know what that even means. Like, what does that mean? Can can you never tell somebody you love them? Can you? Are you cheating on me if you get married? You Are you buying all my me. love? It's so confusing. And digital's forever. There's no ending to digital. Yeah. And she didn't really have a good explanation. It was no, just like. No, it was literally like. It I'm was like, you'll see this. what it means. She yeah. was like, you want to make money, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Essentially. There's a lot of different kind of love, too. Like, every one of my friends, I have love for every one of my family. I have love for every, you know, you could have a, a romantic love. But she what love did she say? What love? She saw all that shit. Was it the whole, well, the entirety her, she of her love? love? She didn't say she was selling did, all of it. Maybe she she's just digital. selling it like that. Just a little bit of her like, love. Was it just the, I got love for you, love? Like, uh, you know, I don't know. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Different kind of love. Are y'all going to sell y'all? Y'all love, huh? Are y'all going to sell y'all love online? Hell no. No, our what love it? online. Mm-hmm. Like she no. did, get some money, cash out. How, ooh, mm-hmm. how much you think somebody would buy your digital love for? I would be broken by the amount that somebody <laughs> bought my digital love for. That would hurt me the most if I had a number in my head and then I went online <laughs> on the day by I was like my digital love. It was like four hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, it was a <laughs> just like period. four dollars and fifty cents. I'd be broken. I would have to bid on my own love <laughs> just to make right. it. Yeah, if you had a price in your mind for it, it was already too small anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Aww. Thanks, Paul. Aww. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. You just gave the fuck out of me on this show. But is <laughs> <laughs> but, no, but is your love infinite? So you could actually like you're an ever producing body of love. So really giving somebody your love is really nothing at all. The it's, fact that we're even talking about love as a commodity means we don't know what the fuck love is in the first place. Whoa. Hey, let's get into Damn, it. Right, and he ain't even smoke. <laughs> and he ain't even smoke. You heard that shit? That was real right there. Yeah. That I think we're, this, we're so far removed from anything that's real anymore that it's just a fucking game any, nowadays so we I can't worry about love right now paul motherfuckers got covid <laughs> i'm joking I'll, I'll self-love I'm apparently joking. is too dangerous now too <laughs> 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 no i think it's real you really starting to feel like everything's fucking fake because i kind of feel that way sometimes what do you mean i feel like a couple yeah, times you've been like fuck i don't know what to believe anymore and i oh, yeah. I, I feel like that kind of constantly i feel that way yeah. I, I feel like that's I feel like that's that's okay, right? I feel like that's okay because I feel like back in the day we were delivered our news, we delivered everything however they wanted to give it to us and we had to just digest that shit. We didn't have even have the other end of the spectrum of like maybe this isn't real. We were like, "All right, that happened because on the news, cool. Now that we do have more access, of course you're going to get more journalists with that, more people who have voices. With that being said, yeah, it opens up at least a conversation of what is real and what's not. It sucks, but at the same time, that's better than having just to take the truth, quote unquote, for what it is, if it's not the truth. My personal belief is I just, I just believe in God, and I just, I just, at the end of the day, at the end, when I go to bed at night, that's that's where I leave it, and uh, because all this I can't explain I can't explain everybody has a perspective everybody has a feeling everybody has a thought we all have it that's me too Paul it Chris is, is the atheist over here at the end of the day I'm not, I, I believe I, in a higher power man that's all that's all yeah me is. too I'm more on this Paul, side you, of, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. are you he always labels me atheist because I'm not a Christian no, that's not but, how I uh, love you. Yeah, that's I don't even claim atheist. a religion. I just believe in I, 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 I believe in energy, power, higher powers. That sounds like, real atheist shit. Do I call it God? Energy. Sometimes I call it God, but I don't. I call it God sometimes, but the idea of God to when me. When do you call it I, God? To me, the idea of God, like it. It states that like I believe there's like a man in the sky above the cloud who's. Why? Like, Why do you think? Here's what you think. That's that's well that. I'm more like a sense of things will Spiritual. be okay. God, I understand the idea of God, yeah. but I don't like pray and be like, what's up, God? It's me, which I used to when I was a kid, when I was Catholic. Your life was better then, too. That's true. I should go back. <laughs> I do that every morning. Like, yo, God, niggas is tripping today. You got to be able to talk to God normal. Like, God is supposed to, you're supposed to be able to have a conversation with God and just tell him what's on your mind. You definitely don't have to. 
I don't know, man. I, I believe in a very untraditional relationship with God. Mm-hmm. I think you should have your own relationship with God. So I don't mm-hmm. go into it and think like, oh, I have to say a prayer exactly like this because this is what I was taught in church. It's like, no, nah, forget that. Talk to God however you want to talk to God. If you want to be like, yo, God, motherfucker, Ryan, I could get on my God. I know I should, my bad. I almost said it. He getting on my nerves. If you want to have that convo with God, I think God understands and God knows your heart, if nothing else, you know? I could I could see that being like good and healthy and like a good way to yeah man just talk to God and it's cheaper than therapy it is it's kind of like self therapy right it's kind of like getting high and it's being not self therapy Chris it's God see there you sure, are again sure. taking credit it's, yes it's God <laughs> this is your problem right no, here I get what you, yeah but yeah maybe I talk to God when I'm high maybe that's the schizophrenic thing I'm saying maybe you, know? you do maybe that's what maybe, maybe schizophrenia that's that is. is something that us supposed non-schizophrenic people are missing out on. I don't know. I absolutely <laughs> believe I don't that. Know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it's... Maybe you, got, maybe you got a gift. What I'm saying is, who the fuck knows, man? Like, I agree. You know, there is... I think I've shared this back on the show before, but schizophrenic people in their in their brains... I took a brain science class once, and this was my, like, favorite fact. First of all, I don't trust it. no nigga who say brain science. <laughs> it was a brain science class. It was... Go, go. Uh, and, uh... The part of your brain that uh, like makes up things, that's not the part of the brain that's stimulated when schizophrenics hear voices. The part of your brain that actually hears things is, neurology is the thing that um, is the thing that lights up. So they actually are hearing those voices. Yeah, like yeah, no, we, we just we, can't hear the voices. Yeah, we went. Yeah, yeah. We and about. that it's like that. See, it's now not. We're getting into a fun conversation. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. not the so fictional you're like, you're not part even of crazy, their brain. Fam? It's, but it's you are something we can't hear. <laughs> I mean, reality is to the individual what reality is, right? Like, yes. Like my reality, your rea- everybody's reality is different to a certain point. Like apparently, we're all sitting in the same room together, right? From what we think, but like we're all seeing each other from a different perspective. So our reality of this situation is even different. So it, we're now we're getting into a whole situation, the whole thing. Like who knows what's going on. Like, I don't know. I, don't I feel know. like I'm no, no, pa, pa, so I'm fucking like, with this. I feel like I'm at Joshua so Tree right now, nigga. <laughs> yeah. And I'm fucking with this. We can go there if you want to. It's like let's uh, get there. What do they call that? Are, are we? What if we? This could be a simulation. If like, it's a simulation, a simulation of what? I don't know. What? What if the whatever were the simulators who made us are in a simulation of their own? And it's an endless chain of simulations. The I don't thing know. That like, I, I struggle with with simulations Damn. is thinking about a simulation within my brain, right? That my brain is running the simulation, right? Or some shit. And I'm like, if I'm not in first place in every aspect, why? It's like being in your dream and you'd be like, people be like, you can control your dreams. And then you ever have a shitty dream that you like get some shit and you like, why yeah. would I put myself in this I situation? I can't fucking run. <laughs> why the fuck? I can't what? punch somebody, but they can <laughs> punch the shit out of me all day. Like, yeah. This, <laughs> yeah. Is, this is stupid. <laughs> why would I do this? <laughs> I'm just like, you're shitty and like crazy. <laughs> Speed bag in my face. <laughs> That's exactly what I feel like. Yeah, if it's a simulation, if it's my own simulation, I have a problem with like place. But is it your own simulation? <laughs> what that's if where I and trip that's a out good on question. Like, what if like what if you're you're on a program right now? You're you're being because have you you ever had a great idea? Hang on, let me light this up. Let me ask yeah. you. you ever had a great idea? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you Yeah. Were you in control of when that great idea hit your brain? No. It just came, right? So who's to say that you did that? It just hits. Man, you boom. need to smoke. You're not even in control of that <laughs> idea. Right? Like, about. boom, I had an idea. Uh, an epiphany. It hits you, right? You're not in control. You can't say, yeah. tomorrow at 12, I'm having a fucking epiphany, guaranteed. No, but I also do think that stems from other stuff. I do think it's not just a fucking, whoa, I've, ne- I've never really been in a fucking room and been like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> sure, but there's people who apparently have or claim they have, you know what I'm saying? But I have been like having a conversation and it's still from like bananas and pears. And then by the end, I'm like, man, this produce business, uh, blah, blah, blah. But why did it happen crazy. in your brain and not his brain in the same conversation? Do you know him? It happened in my brain too. <laughs> I just, we just met. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you can't control. A specific idea that comes in maybe yeah a series of events your life certain things build up 
whatever the case may be. But even then, you can't control the timing of it. I'm with you. I fuck with it. I agree. I, I love these combos. There's always a there's always a moment when. Well, I, I think what you're saying is you have to work at it a little bit. <laughs> you have to work at it a little bit. You have to massage it, but you're never going to be able to find that moment where you're like, now I get it. Well, don't now massage too hard. You might have a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's right handed. But then boom, <laughs> it comes to you. <laughs> yeah, but like, I'm just, I'm just saying like, man, there's like, for instance, like any musician, artist, lyrics that come to him, like there might be a day, a certain beat, certain stars line and the greatest song ever comes out. But then tomorrow you might have nothing nothing you know or just a, a painting a painter or i don't know i just and you're saying that's to me that's simulation? what makes me believe in god to be honest oh. with you is like i can't control when the idea hits i can't control what idea hits i can control how it hits therefore if i can't control it right and the idea comes the idea came from some force or power or something that i couldn't control it happened out of my control therefore it must have been from something that's higher than me i guess and i don't know that's to me what makes me even reinforce my belief in a higher power yeah, yeah for sure yeah, for sure moments. that that's that's definitely with me as well when i think about just goodness and things i'm like yo number one why uh i start with that all the time like why me god mm -hmm. appreciate it but whatever it is but like you know for me it's always like i can't explain certain things I know that I can do what I can do to the best of my ability. I know I can put myself in positions. I know I can do a lot of different things myself, quote unquote. But I still know that that extra why or, or, or length or whatever is unexplainable sometimes. And I'm like, that ain't can't be nothing but God. Yeah. Because yeah. it ain't definitely ain't me, for sure. I'm doing a lot of this shit, but that's, I definitely ain't doing all of this shit. <laughs> it's, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm confused again, but it's a beautiful confusion. So. It is. Yeah. I'm just still thinking about the fact that we're a simulation inside of a simulation. I yeah. mean, it could go. Just know that happens. You ever been in a hall of mirrors <laughs> and it just goes brrr yeah. like that? Like, that's yeah. what I think of simulations. Like, yeah. So you're saying that it would be like. It, well, the idea that we're in a simulation is that, like, there's a computer program in another universe that's like, hey, what do you want to do today? I don't know. Civil. Civ uh, simulation let's see how they die this time and like time goes way faster for them mm -hmm. than us and the kids Wait, we be like dying play it real quick and they're like let's throw this donald Maybe. trump thing in. and you know because they like, then you got things like what we call dimensions right like there, apparently there's a bunch of dimensions i'm uh, my brain doesn't understand it but apparently we got a lot of different dimensions right and another like alternative universe apparently in in um what do they call that um Apparently we got that. Uh, what's it called when you get it's so small, it's so small, like Ant Man. No, 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 be lower than that. It's a uh, um, molecular. Uh, yeah, what atoms. do you call that? No, 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 no. I'm Mo tripping. Subatomic. No, uh, what are the subatomic? Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. What do they call that science? Um, uh, uh, that's unexplainable, uh, like string theory and I shit like it. that. Um, uh, 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 quantum physics. Quantum physics. Nice. You, quantum in quantum nice. physics. Like. In quantum physics, every possibility. Is a possibility, right? Yes. Like, so I don't know where I was going with that because I was trying to think of what the fuck quantum <laughs> physics was. But, but every possibility is about apparently everything is happening at every time. Like every phys every possible quantifiable yeah, yeah, yeah. scenario is happening at, simultaneously. Yeah. At every it's kind of how Doctor Strange can see everything. Yeah, yeah. it's just, see all the outcomes. I don't know. It's like and like you said, like oh, is there some computer program running us or whatever? Like that's just what our well, brain computes. Is we think it. Blind. Compute. We're just. Our brain can understand the concept of computer and programs or whatever. And I don't know. So I'm going on a tangent. Whatever. It's when weird. Are you when you're this confident in your idea of God? Are you also open to the idea that God oh. could be a simulation? And that's what you're saying. That's okay. That is God in this circumstance. I'm just using the word God for the for the sake of convenience. Okay. I'm, I, I, yeah. Then I, I I'm feel just saying, a lot just so like it's, it's a concept that we just that's what we, the word whether you want to call it the universe, whether yeah. you want to energy, whatever. I believe there's a force, a power, whatever. Yeah. That is clearly higher than us because I can't control if my heart beats another beat. I can't control if the the sun comes up tomorrow. So if I can't control it, it's a power that's higher than me because the only thing I can control is fuck i don't know only thing i can control is how i respond to what i see i can barely control my farts chris yeah <laughs> <laughs> i 
Think about that. But you can't. You can only control if you want to let it out. You can't control if it if it bubbles up in your stomach. And I try not to let it out sometimes. And it's, That's it's God. Cool. What's that? What's that? <laughs> That's God. That's the devil. <laughs> 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 That's clearly the devil. <laughs> uh, it is coming from deep down under. <laughs> I had one question because there is this article I saw. There was this um this future robotics thing and it's a connector you can put on your hand and you can have a second thumb on the other side and it works like um what would you do with your? Oh, you, do you get an extra thumb or any extra body part? See, you want? this is what I want to discuss. Oh, so this robotic extra thumb can be controlled by moving your toes. I got it, Chris. So I'm wondering if All it's right. for people that maybe are missing a finger, if that's maybe what they use it for. That's where it might have started from, but now people are using it as a sixth thumb. finger. And know, they're realizing all these things they can do with it. All right, I got you, Chris. You ready? Yeah, what would you do? All right, if you could have one prosthetic or extra body part, any part of your body, you're like, if I could have another one of these, that'd be fucking dope. And what would you use it for? I want all y'all to think about what you... If you I got could, mine. If, if you could get one, one extra thing, you like, yo, I would you get this extra thing and I would use it for this. You want to go for it, Gordy? Since you got yours? Well, it's not really a limb. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Same. You can. Um, I would. It could be I, anything. I would get an extra eye, and yeah. put oh, it in the back, in the back of my of head, head, so I could see from all. Angles. You really are worried about my fucking sneaking up on you. You have trust issues. I absolutely do. You do. That was very telling. You're gonna have to alter your, your whole hairstyle, though. It'll yeah. be okay. It could just pop right there. That shit gonna look crazy though. <laughs> If I had the third eye on the back, I think I would. I, mean, I would neck, keep something actually, over it. I would probably have it close. They got a braid around your shit. Keep something over. What's the point of having it? Right well, I think here. I'd keep it close until, unless I wanted to see. You got that backup reverse cam. <laughs> the backup. <laughs> wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it fuck up your vision all the time if you always had this little reverse cam up here? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, what maybe. if you wake up and you look behind you and you ain't realize it? <laughs> <laughs> you you just fuck up. You woke up drunk and you was like, "This is the front of the back, nigga. Like, I'm fucked up." <laughs> <laughs> I'd want to learn to like wink with it so I could at least. <laughs> you don't want to, nobody want to get a fucking wink from your neck, nigga. Like, imagine you trying to wink at a motherfucker at a bar. Like, you, like, she's staring at your fucking eye because it's weird, nigga. Not because she wants you to wink at her. She's like, is that a third eye? Nigga, that's, that's weird. And then you just wink. Like, what's so up? So, you want your third eye to be visible all the time? Like, it's on her well, neck. She's actually, saying. I think, I'm thinking maybe if there's like danger or if I'm curious. It's is just it like, See, that's what I'm saying. Well, if not, it's closed. Oh, the eye only comes the out. closed for the most so what part. Like so you can control it. It looks like skin. You keep it closed if you want. Yeah. Or you can just keep your eye closed. So your, back, your neck just be sleeping at all times. <laughs> so anytime you walk backwards, it comes on like a car in reverse. <laughs> like, or if, yeah. I'm, like, if I'm outside walking at nighttime in the street, like I can see from the back. Oh, okay. I can open the eye. If not, it's closed. And it what just looks you, like regular What if you got that third eye and that one only had decent vision? No, this one had <laughs> Yeah, fuck. That motherfucker was squinting all the time behind your shit. But the thing is, <laughs> still, like, some could drop on your head. You still, you're still not fully covered. You're not covered. Bro. I mean, it's on the back of my neck, like literally right here. Yeah, but someone could still fall on top of you. Somebody could still yeah. ambush you. This is all yeah, true. I don't know. Yo, I can't fight, motherfucker. It's gonna, if you get your ass, get your ass beat, but if it's someone, gonna still happen. If someone's trying to sneak up on me, I can see. You can turn around real quick. Real quick. Do you, yeah. don't, you don't think the third real, eye? Real <laughs> I've been practicing my turnarounds. <laughs> How do you think the third eye would like affect your relationships? Do you think people would think it was weird that you had the third eye? Do you think it would be an attractive thing? You I could probably get I had a, a friend with done. a third eye. I'd be like, yo, you got to meet this guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, you got to come see this, this is crazy. the homie with the third eye. I told you, he's unforgettable. Like, yeah. but you, oh, you could be having sex and watching that. TV that you want to watch. <laughs> You'll never miss again. You, you like you fucking and watching the documentary. You like, you like damn, that's crazy. Or or she like it's crazy, right? You like yeah. yeah. If you got a girlfriend and like a baddie walks by, you can catch a sneak you peek. Can. Like I and wasn't no, looking. You're not cheating. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was, you're not cheating at all. You just look over Probably. the back of a guy's neck. It's well, like, what's your extra uh, um, piece you get or? Probably, Either one of y'all, y'all prosthetic, y'all get. I'll get a fucking new knee. Another knee? <laughs> yeah, another knee. You'll get a third knee? 
<laughs> or you gonna just get a new knee? <laughs> I, I'll take the old one out and put a new one. Okay, cool. <laughs> that I don't think that's fair. I think you need to have a whole new a third knee. knee. You need a third, third knee. Third feet. Okay. Confuse you and you'll walk a little if, bit. If you can get that knee, but it's now a double foot. Yeah. From the knee. Down. It's a double foot. No, I don't like that shit. <laughs> You gotta buy. Just a, on your right you gotta foot, buy two pair of shoes foot. every time just to match. Okay, you be I think three shoes. legs could be fun. Well, thankfully, I don't have to pay for shoes, so that would be okay now. Until yeah, uh, oh, yeah. There you <laughs> so I'm not sponsored. You're already. <laughs> that's the big problem. Now you're <laughs> now you gotta buy shoes for him because you got third foot. <laughs> well, you gotta just leave that foot naked at all times and let people see that toe. You you keep that uh, motherfucking uh, pedicure real nice, <laughs> and you leave that bitch out at all times. That foot ain't never seen a shoe. I would just want another brain. <laughs> Ooh, another whoa. brain would be what nice. How, but what wow. if it's just the same brain? You just get the same brain twice. You just got two How are they both gonna fit? Two brains better than one. Um, yeah, where are you gonna put that? I don't know. When brain? I have another brain, I'll be smart enough to tell you where you I'll put, put it. You can put it in your third knee. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> His second leg is a brain. <laughs> I just have an Abe Lincoln hat so tall. <laughs> it's like a full this mini like, skull yeah, up top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just think a lot of these mods would affect other parts of our lives. In I, ways think, we're not yeah, I think, I guess uh, uh, it might affect other parts of our lives because we're not thinking like that right now. We're trying to have fun with these one. extra parts. Yeah, just, I think I would probably guess, I guess, a th- oh, another arm. Another. Arm, arm sounds. And what are you going to do I just with get it? more stuff done. Oh, fuck yeah, because two just hands get is more, limited. Yeah, yeah, three hands? I can masturbate and do my work at the same time? Careful, bro. Easy. Da- that might be dangerous. You it might, might be dangerous. You might masturbate yourself to death. Yeah. Yeah. What well, my third arm was just like, he came just alive on his own? One arm is strictly just masturbating 24-7. And, yeah, at all times. <laughs> and the other two are just still doing work. <laughs> just, your dick you're really dead, your dick dead passed out. Your arm like, no, get up. <laughs> I think I think this extra finger is being undercounted. I think if you had another finger over here, another your thumb? hands would be like I'd, I'd be a movie time. critic, dude. I'd be giving all the thumbs up or <laughs> thumbs down, like four thumbs up. <laughs> you could also go like this to people, and they wouldn't really know. Where are you at? Wait, you really want to add in just a finger, Chris? Just a That's second it? thumb a on the thumb? other side. Just one thumb. I was just, well, you guys took you could, feet I thought you could get that done hands. for real. I do like the idea of arms because then I'm thinking about cooking. Cooking feels so efficient. About two mouths or two noses, two two. Claudia said two tongues. I don't know what that's about. Um, mm. I was thinking two, two mouths only so I could eat more food, but then. Like, but then you still got one stomach. I You're going to need two <laughs> assholes. That's yeah. why, that's it just goes crazy. Oh, it goes it. crazy because two different taste buds on both mouths. You just eat different stuff and you just boo-boo out the same asshole. Yeah, you're going to need double assholes. <laughs> you yeah. need double assholes. You need the full fixings. Yeah. <laughs> I, need the, I need the works. I need the, I'll double everything when we get a double mouth. <laughs> I think a secret mouth like down here could actually be. A secret crazy. mouth? <laughs> if you had a little that's mouth sick. A little elf. <laughs> if you're like hungry and you could, you know, you don't want to be rude in some circumstance. You like oh, you're, in you're, in a, you're, you're in a meeting. You're in a you're in a business meeting. meeting. You're just kind of. Like, you don't want to say I didn't eat in front of them, so you just feed your stomach. <laughs> literally, you just kind of shove it in you underneath the but table. But then your midriff shows in the meeting, and they're like, "Nigga, I can see you feeding your stomach." I'm That's just, weird. I'm gonna just. Are you allowed to just say, you know what? I'll pass on the extra limb opportunity. I thought you guys are you allowed to say uh, extra penis? Nah, nah, that'd be too much trouble. That would be too much trouble. It would be too much you trouble. You think he? You think God or the simulation got it right? Think about. I think so. I mean, so far from for for our experience, but uh, I think. Yeah, two dicks. Yeah, if you had two dicks, <laughs> the you, dude. So the amount of so, blood right? flow and the amount of fucking work your heart would have to do to support both of those, you know, you those bad boys <laughs> at the same time. Yeah. Like, that's, 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 that's an overload. But if you had two dicks and you was messing with a girl and she was like, I want to try both dicks. You'd be giving her the shocker. Would you be like, yo, you wild, shorty? Like, you need to chill out. You can't well, it depends try. how they're positioned, but you could. You could do some things. That's <laughs> <laughs> the way you said it. <laughs> you, you could do the shocker. You guys never heard you the shocker? Shock, yeah, the shocker. Yeah, yeah. It's still like a prosthetic yeah, dick, though. Shocker. So it's like a second dick. It's not like a dick you've had your whole life. It's like a new dick. But it's a mold of your dick, though. 
Oh, it's like a second it, dick. Wait, it's can't, dick. but can't. do you have the sensation? Or do you not one? want the second same dick? I mean, are you battling for a new dick? Oh yeah, are you, you like, have a sensation. Are you like my prosthetic? I, was, I don't. Your prosthetic got a bigger dick than you. That's embarrassing, though. I don't think you want different size of. I guess you could get if you, if they all look the same, you, you'd go wherever you want it. You know, with the dick. Yeah, you could. You could keep it on your arm. <laughs> just one on your forehead. Just yeah, you can keep it out in public. <laughs> <laughs> Unicorn. <laughs> and uh, and people be like, oh my god, and they'd be like, I was, sorry, I have a dick on my arm. You put it in your knee. <laughs> There you go. That's another two for one. Yeah, you, just, you get the new knee. Yeah. Just do that, that. <laughs> well, uh, does it come with balls? The on the knee, <laughs> they're extra, or they're extra, you can have the balls removed. I don't think the extra. <laughs> well, then dick, it'll be useless. I don't think the extra dick comes. Well, then what's the point of having it? <laughs> yeah, I don't think <laughs> you want the extra dick to reproduce for you. What, like, do you. what do you want? Like just another thing to pee from? Like it's kind of like it. Yeah, it's, it's better just off with an extra you. asshole. Right, I don't well, want where, my other dick <laughs> having a baby. Like, what if I'm like, I don't remember having sex Your with that dick. Your dick won't have a baby anyway. <laughs> Is this something what? you know about me, Paul? <laughs> Your dick can't. It's Paul. Like, Your dick I won't get pregnant. You. you can't have kids, <laughs> I'm like, what? No, 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 I'm saying, I, I see what you're I'm saying, joking. but I'm saying you won't get, your dick don't get pregnant. Your, your dick does yeah, get yeah, pregnant. For but sure. But like I just don't know if I need both dicks with balls. So then what's the what's the appeal of want, having the I don't second want dick? Two extra balls on me. Four me balls. Neither. Yeah. No. Where are those other two balls going? <laughs> what part of your body you like the balls look fine there? <laughs> but what but I'm saying then without the ball, what is the appeal of having the extra dick? There is no real appeal to having this extra dick, bro. You, it's a hypothetical. You don't need the extra dick. We that's don't. Just, that is what we we don't think the third eye is I'll the best I'll go with the third eye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> third eye on the second dick. <laughs> the eyes of the dick. <laughs> oh, my God. Imagine you was about to... There was an eye on the dick. You'd be like, this is weird. Uh, yeah, the literal <laughs> cyclops, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Paul, so much for coming on the show. Thanks Paul, for having me. Hey, You're a fantastic guy. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, hilarious, hilarious, great time. Um, we learned a lot about of... people with arms, extra <laughs> arms, no arms at all. Yeah, we did go over a lot of different <laughs> scenarios today. Um, I say thank you to everybody out there. Um, that's been it for Wine and Week this week. Uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs> zip it up and zip it out. Bye. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs>